So welcome Hi. Shireen of the Blue Brick uh, to Wabi Sabi. She's here this weekend for a trunk show and we want to ask her a couple questions. So maybe we start with, um, what do you do? What is the Blue Brick? Um, the Blue Brick is a yarn company, a husband and wife team based out of Burlington, Ontario. Oh. And um, well, we come from Toronto, but we're, we're living in Burlington now. Mm -hmm. And we dye yarn that's based around our own photography. So. Um, this is, for example, this is a picture of the Aurora Borealis that we shot, and then we we kind of hand paint our gradients to match our photography. Um, so this is a picture of Gerber Daisy, and then it kind of gets to be a skein, and then from the skein we are able to kind of create these long run gradient yarns. And gradients are kind of our passion because we love seeing like when you buy a cake of, when you buy a skein of yarn and it looks really beautiful in the skein and you kind of, when I was newer to knitting and mm -hmm. didn't know what to expect from a skein, I kind of expected the colors to represent mm -hmm. themselves one at a time instead of, mixed together. instead of getting mixed. And I, and I kind of dreamed of that idea where you'd be able to have like all these colors, but you'd be able to have complicated lace mm -hmm. and cables and have them and kind they of would show and they wouldn't get muddy or anything. Exactly. Yeah, so that was kind of where our desire to do gradients came from. That's and that's what we do. We do gradient yarn based on our own photography. Very well. <laughs> Thank you. Dropped it gorgeous. Thank you. Um, so how did you guys get into um, dyeing yarn as a as a thing? I know you have an artistic background, but yeah. where did it all begin? It all began because um, well, it's hard to pinpoint one spot, but um, the whole story, I guess, would be that we were already artisans, mm -hmm. and so we were already kind of getting our hands into a lot of yeah. different things, and I was, I, I am a potter, I've been a potter for 15 years, and a couple of years ago, um, a, a convent in Boston heard of my heard of my pottery <laughs> and wanted a yarn bowl from us because mm -hmm. we were making specifically we were making these yarn bowls with a little frog hanging over the edge oh, okay. he was your he was your rip it rip it companion ah, so um i ended up making this yarn bowl for a convent and then i uh, i became really good friends with mother Pelagia, who was the nun who had asked me to create it and because we just had this great rapport we were emailing each other back and forth and so when the bowl was ready i decided to fly down to boston and give it to her in person so for her mother superior is for mother seraphina and i was i was really inspired by those girls down there because they they sustained their convent through craft amazing and I met somebody who I think was a real kindred spirit for me. Her name's Mother Macrina. Mm -hmm. And Mother Macrina was like me. She had her hands in everything. Mm -hmm. And she had her hands in a lot of stuff that that I don't do. Like mm -hmm. she um she she spun, mm -hmm. she wove, she was also a potter, mm -hmm. and she was dyeing fiber bats. And I did not spin at the time. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what a bat was, but I was like enamored by these things because <laughs> they looked like candy. Yeah. And they were all based off of a piece of inspiration from her. So she she was inspired by The Hobbit. She was inspired by Doctor Who. Like <laughs> she had all these crazy colors. Mm -hmm. And when I returned to um, Canada, she asked me if um, she could dye a bat based on my photography. And I was honored. Yeah. And I gave her a picture of the Aurora that oh. she wanted. And she dyed this perfect bat. And I looked at it and I was just like, I was blown away. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to maintain those colors. Yeah. In the order that she'd done them, yeah. so I had another girlfriend, Navajo ply it uh, mm -hmm. and spin it up for me because I wasn't an experienced enough spinner to do it. Okay. Yeah. And um, pardon me. And she and we produced this cake, mm -hmm. and I I've never used it. I just love looking at it because my photography and Mother Macrina's hands mm -hmm. and Leslie's hands all these women that have yeah. kind of all gone into producing this yes, thing that yeah. I, I don't even want to knit it unless I could get yet another friend yes. to knit. Yeah knit it up yeah. for me and then I would just put it up as a piece of art. Yes, <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. Um, and uh, so that's kind of where the idea of using photography to dye mm -hmm. yarn mm -hmm. and the idea of creating gradients rather than variegated yep. kind of came mm -hmm. came together for us. Um, and I think it's probably fortuitous the time that you decided to start doing gradients because gradients seem to be really in right now. They do, yeah. 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 And uh, and I, I woke up, we don't... Um, talk about our process much. We don't mm -hmm. dye blanks and we yeah. don't inject cakes. What we yeah. do is 
um, essentially we, we uh, basically lay, lay the yarn out on racks mm -hmm. incrementally so that we can wow. hand paint and we wow. hand paint it. So it like, really truly is hand painted. It is wow. because it comes from the photography. So mm -hmm. I need to be able to like Tito and I when we when we were doing variegated. It was great because we would we had a tiny condo and we would open up our dining table and lay out yeah. all the yarn and pin the picture up on the wall and order a pizza mm -hmm. and just cover everything in plastic and just yeah. come home and have at it while yeah. referring to the, the picture periodically. Mm -hmm. And to us, it was just an extension of, of painting, which we yeah. enjoyed doing. We were both painters. Yes. Yeah. So this came very naturally to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for coming up this Thank weekend. you for having us. It's Thank been you for having us. Oh, it's been wonderful. Fantastic blue brick. And if you uh, can't make it this weekend, where can they go to find your beautiful yarn? Um, well, you can go to Twist. Mm -hmm. Festival Twist will Twist. be present. Yeah. We have an online store, mm -hmm. uh, shop.thebluebrick.ca. Or you can come to Wabi Sabi. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much, Shereen. Thank you, Emily.